Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor from Dragon Rider Network, and I'm here today to talk about Apple's event, WWDC 2011. This is where they held their release of products as Mac OS X Lion, iOS 5, and their new product, iCloud. This video is basically just going to be a bit of a summary of today's events and not full coverage of what each product can do. So anyway, let's get started. So anyway guys, the first product that was released today was Ma Apple's new operating system, macOS 10 Lion. What this was, was an update to their current operating system, macOS 10 Snow Leopard, and it was debuted originally back in October, but now it has many new features opened up to the public. For one, it brings much more of the iOS multi-touch gesture support and features that have originally origined from iOS. Now this new operating system of Mac OS X looks to be available for all current computers that can run Snow Leopard and features an array of new features that will most likely require a higher power processor and more memory. The interesting part about Snow Leopard, however, is that it will only be available on the Mac App Store and not on a physical disk. It will be available for $30 starting in July. Another new product that Apple released at WWDC was the product of iOS 5, which is the new operating system that will be running on iPhones, iPod Touches, and iPads. What this will allow the iPhone to do is a huge assortment of brand new features that will now be available on the iPhone. Features such as better notification, where you can now scroll down a list of notifications that you've received over a period of time. You can now get better uh, views of all your applications. You can now get tabs in Safari and just everything else that you would, would want from an updated iOS. This update will actually be available in the fall of 2011 and it will be available for iPhones 3GS and 4, iPod Touch 3 and 4, and the iPad 1 and 2. And finally, Apple's brand new product called iCloud was their final product that they announced at WWDC. What this product was is a new cloud service which will allow iOS users to store files from Pages, Keynote, and even their music files onto their cloud. This will all be free and this has now actually killed off the service MobileMe Apple provided until today. What iCloud also brought forward for Apple was nine new applications for iOS that allow you to utilize all the features of iCloud right on the go. And what it also brought forward was iTunes Match, which now allows you for $25 a month, a familiar price, to allow you to copy all of your music onto the cloud and store it there for as long as you want or I believe up to 30 days much like the photos and everything else on there. Specifics were a little bit fuzzy when Steve Jobs was announcing it, however everything will be available on their website probably later today once they finish updating the site. So anyway guys that's pretty much my wrap up for today. Be sure to check out all my future videos for products in depth of what Apple has released here today and what are my thoughts about them. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash the Dragon Rider. Be sure to check out the Facebook page, facebook.com slash Dragon Rider Network. Be sure to check out the website for all your tech content, dragonridernetwork.com. And be sure to keep on watching all these videos because I will have a lot more videos coming up about Apple in the next few days. I will catch you guys later, and I will catch you at the next video. Talk to you then.